welcome friends uh, today we will learn about the application of symmetrical components in transformer differential production so the symmetrical components theory is also applicable to transformer differential production and the transformer circuits are uh, basically uh, are connected in the primary and secondary sides and the transformer windings can be connected into a delta or in a star connection so the delta and star connections behaves differently for the symmetrical components and we will learn how they are behaving and how wh what is application of symmetrical components in the transformer differential protection so let's draw a simple transformer which is an, a delta star transformer for example so i will draw the delta at the hp side okay and i will draw the star at the LV sign or you can say at the secondary sign and I will do the neutral point grounding as well so if for example if there is a single phase to ground fault or if there is an imbalance there at the LT side there will be a zero sequence current flowing in the LT network so at the LT network there could be positive sequence current, negative sequence current and the zero sequence current. We all know that any unbalanced voltage and currents can be basically decomposed into three balance systems of components that is positive sequence, negative sequence and zero sequence. So these all three sequence components we will consider that are available at the LT side or the secondary side and these components will be transferred to the high voltage side or the primary side through electromagnetic induction so through magnetically these components will be transferred from the secondary side to the primary side so when these components are transferred to the primary side at the primary side there will be positive sequence negative sequence and zero sequence let it call it be primary side p and this one as secondary side s so these will be as per the transformation ratio of the transformer but the thing we know or we should learn here that the delta circuit is work as a trap for the zero sequence component it means that all the zero sequence components will be trapped inside the delta and on the line side they will be only positive sequence and the negative sequence available so the line will have only two components that is positive sequence and the negative sequence whereas the zero sequence component will be trapped inside delta okay so first of all let's prove this that how the zero sequence component is trapped inside the delta so let's draw the delta here so we consider this one as a delta delta winding And we know that zero sequence components, then I will draw the zero sequence current here, I naught, first of all, I naught and I naught. So we have three zero sequence components, okay, one for each phase. So we know that all the zero sequence components for I naught red, I is equal to I naught yellow, is equal to I naught blue so all are same and they are same in magnitude and same in angle so you can see for example if i write one ampere current is produced by this winding of the hv moving in upward direction and one ampere is moving in the opposite direction if you apply the kcl here if i apply kcl at this point one ampere is entering one ampere is leaving to the other coil 
then the current in the line will be zero i naught will be zero in the line so it means that the delta circuit is making sure or you can see the zero sequence component is trapped by the delta similarly if you apply the kcl here you will see one ampere is entering and one ampere is leaving and again the line zero sequence current is zero similarly if you apply the kcl again to the third node so you will see that line zero sequence current is zero so hence we have proved that in the delta delta circuit is the if there is a zero sequence component induced in the delta circuit then that uh, component will not be transferred to the line because this is in phase and equal so that's why <coughs> delta will not be transferred to the line and the cts which are used for the transformer differential protection are connected to the line we know this these all the cts are connected to the line it means that we have ct connection to the line and these cts are connected further to the relay now you can see at this side relay is provided by the positive sequence negative sequence and zero sequence component whereas the hst side the relay is provided by the positive sequence negative sequence but no zero sequence component in the other words i can say that if i compensate the angle and the magnitude even then i1 p will cancel cancel out i1s any primary positive sequence will cancel out the primary secondary negative sequence positive sequence and similarly negative sequence of primary side will cancel out the negative sequence of secondary side but there is no negative positive there is no zero sequence at the st side in the lines so there will be a differential current and that differential current in that case will equal to the zero sequence current 3i0 at the lv side and this zero sequence current depending upon the balance can operate easily the differential protection that's why we need a scheme that's called as zero sequence filtering so if you are not applying a zero sequence filtering then what will happen that if there is a fault outside the protected zone of the differential protection this fault can operate the differential protection however we know that that out of the zone fault that is also called as a through fault and you can see the protected zone of the different protection is bit from ct1 to ct2 ct at the primary side and ct at the secondary side if there is any fault beyond this zone the relay should not operate we are called this as a through fault so if zero sequence filtering is not enabled then we have seen already that the zero sequence current that is produced by the secondary side will not be available at the line side of the primary and hence if zero sequence filtering is not available it means that relay may operate or will operate at through fault you can see mall operation of the relay at out of zone or through faults number 2 so this is the first disadvantage number 2 is a thing when the transformer is energized at no load the relay will uh, the differential protection will remain stable so there will be no tripping at no load so no tripping at no load because at no load there is no zero sequence current there is no unbalanced current at the lv side and hence the relay differential protection will not trip immediately so no trip at no load so in this condition there will be no trip trip at the no load so if you energize the transformer it will be stable but uh, uh, unless and until the load is applied and that is that has some unbalance in it then that it can create a friction trip so this is uh, the second condition number third condition is if the load unbalanced load is increase at the lt side then it might produce enough thing i not that it can trip the transformer at the st side so this is the basic theory uh, for transformer uh, differential protection and application of symmetrical components and here you can see this is a very simple diagram which is showing that for star delta transformer 
so is the star delta transformer you can see star here is not grounded so it means that the at the HD side or at the primary side there will be no zero sequence current because no grounding is there but at the delta side the zero sequence current if is there any it will be trapped inside the delta and uh, you can see here that the positive and the negative sequence currents will be transferred between primary and the secondary side so this is another presentation for the delta here you can see as i told you that the zero sequence current is trapped inside the delta so you can uh, simplify the diagram and you can show the sequence component diagram for the delta in this uh, very simple format so here you can see there are various different uh, sequence components the uh, connection diagram and representation of in terms of sequence components so if the star star transformer and grounded at the both side is there so you can see the z sequence component is easily to, can travel from the primary to the secondary side so here you can see if the star is at the st uh, at the primary side and the delta is the secondary side so you can see that there is no not possible that the zero sequence current can travel from the primary to the secondary and then you can see we have another connections shown here which is in a star delta and then we have a delta delta so you can see in the delta delta there is no z sequence current at the primary or secondary the z sequence current will be trapped in the delta itself so finally we have star delta with us and you can see again the z sequence current can only be available here in, in, in the delta so how to filter the z sequence component so in the new latest uh, numerical release the filtering is taking place by algorithms by the calculations inside the microprocessors but in the older versions of the release we doesn't have the microprocessors uh, simply the matching cds were used or cds were connected in a way that the here you can see the delta side cts are connected with the star connect, connected cts delta side of the transformer is connected with the star connected cts and the star connected side of the power transformers are connected with the delta connected cts so you can see in the star in the star side is if is there any zero sequence current available that will be trapped inside the current transformer delta connection and these zero sequence current will not be feed to the relay differential relay so you can see easily in the older versions of the relay the matching series were used for the zero sequence filtering for phase compensation phase angle compensation and for the magnitude compensations so the magic CD does have three per all three purposes to filter the harm uh, zero sequence component to compensate the line angle which is being created phase angle which has been created between the primary and secondary different uh, current of the transformers and the magnitude difference that is created by the transformer transformation ratio so this is some basics of the symmetrical component application to the numer numerical production and the normal conventional productions of the transformer differential production. Thank you very much.